Hey folks, welcome to the video. Uh, before we go any further, you know that little button right below me or right on top of my face that says subscribe? Push that. It allows me to uh, make more free videos for you. And uh, okay, here we go. Today I'm going to talk about different solders and the proper sequence. Now in jewelry making you have basically hard, medium, and easy. So just think about this. Let's say that sterling silver melts at 1800 degrees. Hard solder will melt at 1700. Medium will melt at 1600 and easy at 1500. So if you're making a piece of jewelry with four or five different uh, connections on it, the last thing you want to do is try to make them all with easier or medium because it'll all, they'll start coming apart as you solder each one in sequence. So you always start with hard. Here's a good example. Let's say I'm making a bezel. I'm going to make this little bezel, this fine silver bezel right here, and I'm going to use hard solder, and I'm going to solder it together with hard, all right? When I take this and put it on my bottom plate, now I'm going to cut the plate out, of course, I'm going to use medium. Now, the so since I did the bezel with hard, and you get, the, get that everything hot again, the hard is not going to flow down out of the bezel and go around in circles and leave you with that nice little split, a gap. It's going to stay where it is. After you've finished that and cut it out, you might want to go ahead and put some kind of a loop or something on top of your bezel, and that's when you go to easy. So if I have a bezel, here's a bezel that I've already made. It's the same sequence. I did my bezel with hard. I soldered it to the bottom plate, cut it out, and ended up with this. If then I want to put something, a loop or something on top of it, I'll put it up there right against it, drop my little bit of easy solder between the bezel and the loop and hit it. So you've used hard, medium, and easy. Another thing that I do a lot, I like to make holoform beads. Now, I've made the first, the, uh, the, the pattern piece of silver here, this is probably 22 gauge sterling. It's not fine like a bezel because it's not a bezel. I've textured it and I've made this first one out of 22 gauge or 24 gauge and I solder it just like, just like I did before to the bot. I put it together with hard and then I solder it to the bottom plate with medium. Then I can flip it over and do the same thing by and solder my bottom plate with medium. I don't have to use easy and that'll work every time. The thing you have to remember about easy solder, and it's the reason that I don't use it too, too much, is it's going to turn gray a little bit faster than anything else. And it's not going to flow near as well as medium or hard. Hard solder flows like crazy. And hard solder becomes eutectic, which means after the piece has been heated a couple of times, the hard solder won't flow anymore. It'll just become one with the metal that's on, so you're not going to have to worry about reflowing it again. Use hard solder as far as you can. Like if you have six solder joints, try to use hard on two of them. Then go to medium for two or three of them. And then finally, if you're having to put a, a, a finding or anything on it, then you're going to go with easy. I hope this, I hope this helps you out. And, uh, Try it out. See how it works. I think you're going to have good results. See you later.